Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to our Let's Play series. That's right, folks, we're back in our single player world. We're doing all the cool vanilla stuff. I just heard a witch. Why did I hear a witch? I wonder where that was. But anyway, welcome back. Uh, things have changed here since the last time we were together. I changed this room around where our, uh, our whole smelt tree thing is. Um, hope you like it. I think I do. I think it looks really good. I put a window in back there so you can see the minecart roll by. I got the furnace array back there on the short wall. Uh, let's go ahead and turn around here so we can see what we've got going on. Um, so the I had it in this wall right here, as you may or may not recall, right? But there's a problem with that. And the problem with that is that where everything comes in over here, um, once it gets dumped out of here and works its way across, in this section right over here where I had it, there's not enough room... There's not enough room to uh, to separate the, the 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 uncooked beef and the leather, and that's a problem because we need to be able to get those separate. Because if the leather gets into our furnace array, which the back of the furnace array is over here now, if the leather gets into the furnace array, it's just going to jam it up because you can't cook leather, right? So as you saw here just a second ago, I got a series of hoppers in here that I've uh, that I've done some stuff with. So this is the right here. <laughs> There's a witch outside. Um, this is the main hopper chain that's coming over from the uh, from the chest there that comes over from the uh, from the barn, right? Right here in this section right here, we need to build a uh, an, an item filter, right? And that item filter is going to go right here. Okay. So in order to make an item filter, there's a couple of things you got to have. First things first. Let's go ahead and open this up, right? Uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to. I wanted to use. Uh, silk touch on that. Oh well, it's fine. We're gonna need some blocks. I need. Ooh, I need some blocks from over here. Uh, nope. Yep. Nope. Over here. Sorry. Let's go down here and get some blocks from. Do I have any in here? No. I took everything out of there. Great. Um, so we'll have to go over here. I'll show you something else that I did too. Uh, let's get in here and let's get some of this. Sure, that'll be fine. I might have to go kill that witch because it's driving me batty. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. Yes, it is. You know what? Let's go take care of this guy because I can't stand witches anyway. Where is he? Aha! Yeah! Got him. And he poisoned me, but that's okay. That's okay, dokey. Because. I couldn't stand listening to him anymore. wonder what he gave me. Probably some redstone. That's fine. All right, anyway, we'll get back inside and we'll talk about this. Oh, I got slowness on me too? That sucks. All right, that's fine. Get in here. Ow. Ow. More beef. What are, how long does these effects last? 14 more seconds. That's fine. All right, so anyway, uh, we needed some blocks to do some redstone stuff with. So let's get those. Uh, that was the right blocks. Yep. Okay. So what do we need? Well, we need a ooh, we need a comparator and a redstone repeater because those are up here. So let's grab those. Hello. There we go. Uh, let's grab those. We got one of these and one of these. We're probably also going to need a torch. And we've got... Yeah, we got hoppers. Okay, cool. So now let's get this item filter in place so that we can start seeing if everything's going to come over and uh, and get dumped into where it's supposed to get dumped into, which it should. Uh, all right, so yeah, so we need a block here. There needs to be a block right here, and so that block is going to go like so. Um, yes, this block right here. So then we need on top of this we need a repeater. Or not a repeater, but a comparator. So, boom. And then from there, we need to have a one like that and one like that. Okay? And that's going to be redstone. So let's get some of that. Uh, boom and boom. And then down here, right here, uh, you know what? We're going to need to break this because this is kind of in our way. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Give me the silk touch one. There we go. Cool. That wasn't the silk touch one, was it? It is. Okay, cool. No, so now we need a block right here, right? So let's put this block here. We're going to need a repeater, which can go right here. So give me that back. Give me this. And boom. 
right? Yep. And then we're going to need to have a block, which we'll call like this. Boom. And then we need a redstone torch. Okay, redstone torch locks the hopper, makes it so nothing can get through. Comparator checks this hopper for items, right? So if there's nothing in here, there is, yeah, nothing in there. There's no redstone signal. Um, once the redstone, once something gets into this, then it will output a signal. But we need to make it so that uh, this will only hold a certain number of items, and we want it. To, we want to make sure that it only lets a certain item in. What item do we want to let in there? Well, we want to let the beef get in there. So let's go and grab ourselves a piece of beef from up here, the raw beef, right? So we'll get a piece of raw beef from over here. Just one will be fine. Thank you very much. Okay, bring this down here, and we can put it into that hopper, and then we can use a, uh, a named item. I know you guys have seen these before, but we can use a named item to, uh, to make it so that raw beef is the only thing that will be allowed to come into this hopper. And I just happen to have some, uh, some blocks in here, excuse me, that I've named. Um, I always name mine sorting stones just because, um, just because that's, that's, that works for me, right? So if they're all the same, then this will only allow raw beef in here. But here's the problem. You have to have a certain number of items before that redstone uh, gets to be um, continuous. Actually, let's go get another piece of beef. I want to show you how this is going to work. So we'll grab another piece of beef and we'll put that in there. And then when, we'll show you how many items we have to have in order for this thing to work. I want to say I need to have 18 items in that first slot. Well, the second slot. So let's go and verify that. Uh, we'll put this back in there into the first hopper. This one right here. Uh, this one here? Yes, this one here. No. Uh, is that right? No. Not that one. We don't want to put it in this one. We want to put it in this one, right? Yes, okay. So now we will, um, yep, that's fine. That'll work. So now if we put this in there, right, and put this in there, you can see that there is a redstone signal here, but it's not strong enough to make it two, uh, two blocks. Once there's enough items in here that this will put out a pulse of two, then that will fire this redstone, which will power this block, which will power this repeater, which will power this block, which will turn the torch off and let items pass through. And the items that are here that are going to pass through are going to work their way into this hopper chain. There'll be a dropper right here with a little, uh, a little uh, clock on it, and that will fire the items up into this hopper system, and then that'll take it over here to this chest, which we'll talk about what we're going to do down here in just a minute. So uh, we've got two items in here, right? So now we need to make it so that, oh, that's not, nope, we don't want those in there. I used the wrong thing. We want these in here. And then we need to have 17 more items, right? There's 13, 16, 17. We'll put one right there. And if I do that, see how this stays like this? Put one more in there. One disappears. It goes down here. So now, as every time a piece of raw beef gets into this hopper, it will fire this one and it will allow this redstone torch to turn off and allow the items to get released into this hopper chain. How about that? Okay. Now the next thing that we need to do to get this thing to work is we need to get a, uh, a dropper, which I thought I grabbed one, but apparently I did not. So let's go get a dropper from up here in the redstone chest. And uh, we're going to build ourselves another little uh, hopper elevator, right? Uh, I'll show you the one that I built to go along with um, with what we have. So here's a, oh, not a dispenser. We want a dropper, yes. We're gonna need some redstone torches. One, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, because we need to make a couple of repeaters. Uh, I got enough redstone. I've got enough stone. I do not have enough stone. I need to get some more stone. So let's get some more of that. Uh, we're gonna need, what, two more pieces probably? Uh, no, we're gonna need two, we need three. There we go. That should be enough because we need to make two redstone repeaters just like so. And we're also going to need to make a redstone uh, a comparator. So we need a piece of nether quartz. Quartz? Quartz, please. Thank you very much. Boom. So that goes there. We need these three torches. Boom, boom, and boom. And then we need these three pieces of stone. 
bada boom, bada bing, and then that will take care of that. So now we'll come down here, and I'll show you what we're going to do. We need this here. I don't know why I changed those out. We'll come over here, and I'll show you the hopper elevator that I built here. This is the same one that I built over there last episode. I just had to move it down here, so there's another layer just like this one underneath. Uh, if you look down here, you can see the redstone for that. Um, that's not what I want. We want this, so boom. Uh, but this only has to go up one level, so this one will be super easy, right? Uh, we'll come over here, and we put the uh, we put the hopper or the dropper right here. So let's get rid of this, and boom like that, okay? And then we're going to need to get another hopper on here, and it's going to go that way, okay? Now we're going to take the comparator, like so, and put it, boom, right there. Take a piece of redstone and put it uh, there there, 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 and there, right? Then we'll take our repeaters and put those in here like a so. So this one will go there, and this one will go here. And so now, if another piece of beef gets in there, it should end up all the way over here. So there's nothing in this minecart right now. Let's go get another piece of beef, which is all the way over here. I should have just grabbed some, right? So we'll get another piece. Like a soul. Okay. And we'll go over here and we'll test and we'll test it out just to make sure it's gonna work. And then I'll put all the hoppers in place and we'll see if this actually makes it all the way to where we want it to make it to, right? So if I put this in here, boom. It should come down here, and there it went. You saw that fire, so now there should be a piece of raw beef. Haha, -ha, sweet, it works. All right, now let's go ahead and get uh, let's go ahead and get this hopper, and we'll go ahead and hook up the other end of this. And what we should see now is the raw beef should make its way in here, right? And the raw and the 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 uh, the leather should make it into this one right here. And then we can carry this hopper chain on along, and we can bring it down over here. Whoops. We can bring it down over here and tie it into the output of our furnace array because our furnace array and that need to meet up so that everything can go, excuse me, so that everything can go downstairs. And let me show you what we're going to do down here. Uh, you see that I put this doorway in down here. It doesn't go anywhere yet. It just comes down here to a little one, uh, one block wide hallway that goes all the way around in a big, huge area. This is going to be our storage area right here. So this will be floor to ceiling, nothing but chests, and I think I can reach all of them. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Whoops, darn it. Eh, give me that back. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be just a ton of chests in here with a storage system and everything that will allow us to go all the way around the room, and it's going to be amazing, right? So let's go put this over here, and we should start seeing all of this stuff drain out. There it goes. So now if we come over here, the hopper... Um, the, uh, the hopper lock thing. Yep, there it is. Flashing. Cool. That's working. Uh-huh. This is working. Cool. We should see items passing through here. Yes, we do. Cool. And if we go in here, we should see... Sweet. That's going in there just like that. That's awesome. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to work on something here. Um, what we need to work on here is we need to work on a delivery mechanism that will allow for once this uh, once this thing gets items in it that it will it will kind of lock this um, this minecart in place. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to need some more redstone stuff. Uh, we're going to need a redstone torch underneath. We're going to need a, a comparator, and we're going to need a way to get that signal back down uh, into this. And it's going to be pretty similar to what we've got over there, except there's not going to be a filter on it, right? It's just going to be a way that if there's items in here, that it will lock this in place. It'll shut off the powered rail that's underneath this minecart, and it'll make the minecart stay here and pull items out of this uh, uh, out of this hopper. So let me get some stuff together, and I'll come back, and we should be in a position where we can actually make this thing fire, and then we should be able to also be able to do the same thing down there with uh, um, 
with our uh, our coal delivery system. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what we've got. Um, I grabbed myself some uh, comparators and some repeaters and stuff, and uh, and I've also taken all of the raw beef out of the out of the hopper uh, hopper minecart or uh, chest minecart because I want to show what's going to happen when uh, when this thing all gets running. Right. So first things first. First thing we need is we need a block right here. Right. We need this block right here because we need something to put the comparator on that's going to measure the output or, or check the status of this, uh, of this hopper. So let's put that there, right? And then we need to go from there into, uh, can we go into, can we go directly into a repeater? I, I think we can. Um, do we need to? Ooh, that's something that I hadn't thought of. I wonder, in order to get a signal strength of three, in order to get a signal strength of three, how much does this have to have? Let's, you know what, let's try something. Let's try something together here real quick. Give me this. And let's get uh, a comparator here, right? And let's get some redstone down. Uh, do that, do that, do that. And then do one, two, three, because it would be block here, here, here. That'd be three. And then, yeah, OK, that'd be fine. Because what I want to do is I'm going to put a torch right here. I'm going to draw. I'm gonna break this block out, and I'm going to put a torch here to power this uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, I think I, I think I'm I think I'm really derping this up, but I think you guys kind of get the impression, get kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. So, let's go ahead and put another block here, and then put this here, and we want to find out how many we items we need to get a signal strength of three. Okay, so with 64 items, what do we get? We oh, we can't do it like that. Darn it, we got to do this. Uh, so put this like that, and then the redstone back and do that okay so that definitely gives us a signal strength of three what if we cut it in half if we cut it in half we have a signal strength of two okay and then okay 34 nope 35 nope For, uh, 40, nope, 45, nope, not yet, 64 definitely did, um, 50, okay, at 50 we do, how about at 49, whoops, 49, yes, 48, Yes, 47, whoops, how about 47, yes, okay, so 46, whoops, 46, yes, 45 didn't, but 46 does, okay, that actually might work in our favor then, because if it's going to take that long for it to get that strong of a signal, then that actually might work out well for us. Okay, let's go ahead and break this. And we'll get this put back together over here because I think I, I think what I'm going to do here is going to work out pretty nicely. Okay, so we'll put a block here again. Uh, get the redstone. Oops, uh, where's my, there's my blocks. Okay, so we need that block there and we need that block there. This block can... Uh, yeah, that block can go, and this block can go, okay, because I want this block here to be one of these, and I want this to be one of these also, and I just fell down, darn it, ugh, e ugh, okay, there we go, uh, put this block back, this will be a redstone torch down here, so let's get that, oops, give, in, give me this. And so this right here, right? No, uh, where was I? No, really, where is it? I'm lost. 
Where am I going here? Oh, that's no good. That's the room. Uh-huh. What if I put it over here? Can I put it over there? Not too handily. We might have to change that block out right there, because that's... Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to change that block out right there. That's fine. We'll make it work. So let's go right here. Uh, if I come in here, I should be able to get to it, shouldn't I? Yeah, we can put it right here. So let's get this. Whoops, not that. Not that. That. There we go. And put that right uh, there. Okay, so that's going to power that, right? And that cart should be... No. That cart is not moving. Why is that cart not moving? Doesn't this not... Does this not power this block? Uh-huh. Why does that not power the block? I don't... I don't understand. I'm lost here. Why is that not powering that block? Uh, because it won't. It won't power the block. No, it will not power the block. Darn it. Ugh. All right, hang on a second. I got to figure something else out. Okay. Just call me Mr. Non-Efficient Redstone Man because here's what we got going on. I have run into some issues with all of it. It's, as much as I've moved this, it's still super crowded. So I've had to make some, I've had to make some adjustments in the way that I wanted to do this. All right, so this one right here is for our coal, right? We'll talk about that one in a minute. Let's go up here and take a look at what we've got up here. Um, so this one right here is this comparator measures this hopper. Once there's items in this in this hopper, the comparator will fire, and it will go into this redstone, and it will turn off this redstone torch, which turns off that repeater, which turns off that powered rail, which means that the items are going to get uh, picked up. So let's come back over here for a, just a second and just throw boom, 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 throw all of that in there, right? It's going to make its way over here. And now it's, now it's fired, so this should stay. And it will stay, should stay now until all of the items get through. Because since it was going back and forth, it's going to just keep right on going until there's oh, it's going to, okay, so it did catch up. I was wondering about that, uh-oh. Oh, is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? Because I am. I was wondering about that. Oh, please go, please go, please go, please go, please go. Yeah, it made it. Whew, okay. Um, that's kind of troubling. I wasn't thinking that that was going to happen. I wasn't thinking that was going to be something that was going to do what it just did. So that's a that could be an issue. But anyway, it's working for now. So here... This one here, this one is going to be for the uh, for the coal. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to see if we can get a, a stack of coal. And we're going to see how long it'll hold this thing. I think I've got enough to do this. I uh, don't really have a stack, but we, I mean, we've got coal ore here that we can do stuff with too. Um, anyway, uh-oh. Is there no coal in this one? Oh, it didn't get us any items in that one. Why did it not get us any items in that one? Oh, I think I might know why. Shoot. Um, this is... No? No, it shouldn't have done that. Is there items in there? No? Items in there? No? Did it just not get any items in there, I wonder? Oh, I bet they were all gone by then. Okay, well, let's try it. Let's put this coal in here like a so and it should work its way over here and it should start firing this thing which it did okay cool so now that's going to get held down there and it's going to stay there until uh it's going to stay there forever shoot 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 we may need to do something with this I may need to do something with this to make this a little bit... Ugh, I can't believe this. This is not working out the way that I want it to. I'm so mad. Uh, so all of the items are over here now, but this is going to stay here now. It will never come back and pick up... It'll never come back and pick up the coal. That's a problem. That's a problem. And that should be delivering all of the meat, which I think it did already. 
how do I make this turn back off now? Hmm. How do I make this turn back off now? I could... Um... If I put a block here, will that hurt anything? If I put a repeater on top of this, it should not power that block, right? Let's, tr let's try that. Let's see if we can get another repeater here. Because I could put a little clock on it, maybe. I could. That might work. One, two. We'll give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We just screw it up, right? <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, so there's that. We need both of those, and we need one of these, and that gives me a repeater. Let's try that, and if this doesn't work, I might have to go back to the drawing board, and we might have to check it out next episode. Um, so if I put that there, if I put a block there, and I put redstone here, yeah, that released it. Okay, and as long as so as long as there's items in there, uh, it's not doing so hot. It might make it. It might do it. I kind of want it to stop here, but I can't seem to make it do that. I'll tell you what, here's what I want you guys to do. If you guys can come up with a better design for this, and I know that there are better designs out there, and I would love for your feedback on it. Um, right now, it is working. And if we go out here to the front, we should see that there is, uh, yep, there are definitely items cooking, which is good. Uh, this has got stuff in it. This has got stuff in it. This has got stuff in it. Yep, yep. Um, the only issue that I have is that we're actually going to be wasting some coal. Yeah, we may have to change this because this is not working out to the way the way that I wanted it to. Um, plus, with all this redstone updating, it's going to be a nightmare as far as lag goes. Hmm. All right. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, folks. Because I, th I think we're out of time because we just I just can't do anything else with this tonight. It's um, I'm just I'm kind of frustrated by this, and uh, normally redstone doesn't get me this frustrated. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you come right down here and leave your comments in the comment section below, and uh, we'll chat about it. Uh, like I said, if I, uh, I would love to hear you guys' feedback on how to make this work better. Um, if you know of a good design or have seen somebody else put something together that would work better than this, I would love to see it. I would love to see what I can come up with on it and see if I, maybe I can improve it. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>